My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I love everything about this 1939 Ford. It's a real steel body 39 Ford. I like the stance, I love the wheels. You can't argue with the color, interiors, it's, it's tastefully done everywhere. There's nothing, in my opinion, that's going to date this car, uh, and it's just well done. It starts and runs and functions so nice and smooth, uh, show quality looker. This thing's been on the cover of Street Scene Magazine, it had a three-page spread in Street Rod Builder. It was used in the Speedway catalog. This car comes with a stack of documentation and all sorts of really good information about the car's build and its history. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can read the information, study the pictures, and that's where you find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. <clears throat> so underneath it has a Heinzman chassis, up front is a Heights Mustang II style independent suspension, it's got two inch drop spindles, it's got shortened tubular A-arms, coil over shocks, it has a rack and pinion steering, uh, it's got a nice sounding dual exhaust system, has mufflers and resonators, so it has a nice mellow rumble, not obnoxious. Um, bottom of the car, the floor is all nice, solid, clean metal. Uh, it has a composite fuel tank uh, underneath there. Um, the company that built this is called Tanks. You look up at the motor, it's a chrome oil pan. Everything is fresh and clean. The starter looks new. It's a turbo 350 uh, automatic transmission. Uh, it has power brakes, the power boosters under the car. They're disc in front, drum and back. Uh, so yeah, underneath the car, look at the pictures. It's really nice. And this car is built right. Everything is neat, orderly, proper. There's nothing that I've seen or found that I didn't like or I thought was hokey. Uh, I would buy this car and I'd be content exactly the way it is. I don't think I would have to change anything. And usually there's something you want to make better or change. Uh, now let's check out the body. The roof arrow stray, and this is like red glass. I'm seeing reflection. It's like a red mirror. This is all pristine as an actual cowl. Absolutely pristine, straight, laser beam straight. <clears throat> Again, looking at the reflection of the lights, it's like looking in a red mirror. There's not a wave, not a ripple. This is all pristine. Excellent. I don't see any damage. I don't see problem areas. Like right down here, it's all nice and clean. Got the hinges with stainless uh, pins. Look at the gap. is nice and square and smooth. Shuts real nice. No issues. I mean, I'm not seeing any issues at all. Got the rain gutter here. This is all nice and clean. Absolutely laser beam straight. And the paint is beautiful. It looks like it was just dipped in red lipstick. Nail polish, I mean. Excellent. This one fender is fiberglass. All the rest of the car is steel. This fender is fiberglass. And you can't tell. It's straight. It looks just as good as the rest of the car. Absolutely straight, absolutely no issues. Has red piping between the fenders. Uh, the body is an A+. Plus. Excellent. Has some sort of, uh, not gold leaf, but it looks like a silver leaf stripe with a little black outline on each side, and you don't even feel it. Very tastefully done. It's got smoked glass with new rubber gaskets and seals. Door handle, not the remote poppers, has an actual door handle, which I like. The chrome looks new, the mirror looks new. Has the V-butted windshield, the glass is smoked, the gasket's new. It has real faint pinstripe, you might not have even noticed. Nice and subtle. This chrome, the grill, glass lenses, 
excellent. Bumper brackets are chrome, has this nice custom drilled filler panel for the license plate. I don't even see rock chips. I'm not saying there isn't one, but I'm not finding any. Yeah, glass, NCRA inspected, 2022. Oh, so this just went through a safety inspection by a National Street Rod Association. The ribbed rubber running boards uh, look to be excellent. You can stand on them. You know, when they're painted, you got to tell people, stay off. And the wheels, wheels and tires uh, aren't that old because in the pictures in the magazine, they had different wheels. I like these much better. Got the chrome steel rims, uh, radial white wall tires. They got the sizing just right. You got LED teardrop tail lights. You got a little pinstripe, a little pinstripe here, a recessed license plate. You got some custom bumperettes. You got a Ford locking gas cap. Yeah, this thing is really, really impressive. Let's open it up. We'll show you what it looks like inside. All right, there's a lever underneath the seat that pops the trunk lid. Opens up real nice. And you know what? This car just keeps getting better and better. I'm so impressed with the car. Look at underneath the trunk lid. It's all upholstered. has custom stitching. I don't know if you can see the detail, but what a nice job they did. The whole trunk is boxed, upholstered, carpeted. You got two compartments here for some extra belts and miscellaneous. And then uh, something I just found that I thought was pretty cool. Well, you got more storage there. You got the battery. And then the back of this board here. It says here is a three-owner car from Nebraska. One owner from 39 to 65. Another from 65 to 98. And they're all in the same town. And from 98 to 2002. And then it's sold a few times since then. Uh, but pretty cool. Syracuse, New York. East Aurora, New York. It's been around to some shows. But what a well-built car. Very nice. Fit and finishes are amazing. The interior is done very tastefully. Uh, upholstered beautifully. The upholstery is nice and tight. Nothing's loose. The corners aren't flopping around. Uh, it's got the nice chrome handles inside. The dash area, nice, clean. I mean, it's been wet, sanded, and buffed like the outside. Pinstriped, very subtle pinstripe. You got a matching set of Stuart Warner gauges. Uh, this is for the next owners. So they know what <coughs> the knobs do. Look at the louvers. Look at the vents. The detail's impressive. Uh, you got a modern stereo. Air conditioning system is up under the dash. I looked under the dash. The wiring, the fuse panel, outstanding. The steering wheel is slick. Uh, it's got a tilt column with the old, old style custom knobs. Uh, low car shifter on the floor with the button in the middle and like the pearl, mother of pearl uh, handle. Uh, carpets, I just told the detailer, got greasy footprints on the carpet. The seats, they're rebuilt. They're nice and firm. They feel right. They're not overstuffed. They're not broken down. You got seat belts. And I just happened to notice this little strap right here. You got to give it a tug. But you got storage. You can run moonshine like they used to do with these cars. It's all upholstered. It's not just an empty unfinished storage uh, the headliner all done the visors are stitched to match like in the trunk and you have a stereo system neatly mounted there well i don't know what that is yeah it might be for a cd player or something door shut solid Now the engine does not have, you have to use this prop rod to hold the engine open. So we got a 350 motor here, it's all rebuilt, aluminum intake, uh, Edelbrock carb with electric choke, HEI electronic ignition, it's got some ram horn exhaust manifolds, 
and polished AC compressor, polished AC parts. Look at how clean the firewall is. Nice and tidy. Nice aluminum valve covers and dipstick for the trans. It's a walker radiator, big radiator. Uh, the shroud, polished alternator. We got power steering. Remember the power brakes are under the car. Everything about this car, even the screws on the firewall, the paint, everything is just done so nice. Ah, oh, it just shut with a click. Again, I've been around old cars my entire life. My dad was building hot rods when I was a kid. I'd run to the house and get him a beer and bring it out to the garage. Um, this is a very high quality build. I could ask 30 more, 30 grand more for this car and I could justify it. It's just a nice, well put together piece. I think it's gonna serve the next owner really, really, really well. Go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where the salesman can help answer questions about any of the cars. They can help set up delivery and uh, financing at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. That way you'll see the next one as it's posted. Thanks for watching.